Nature doesn't do perfect angles, but the Hubble Space Telescope just found them anyway. I'll be honest, what I'm about to show you shouldn't exist. Deep inside the hazy glow of the interstellar visitor, 3 Eye Atlas, Hubble has revealed three distinct jets of material erupting in a perfect equilateral triangle. They are spaced at exactly 120 degrees, a mathematical symmetry so precise that the statistical probability of it being a natural fluke is just 0.2%. That's a 1 in 500 chance. We went looking for a comet, but the geometry we found that looks like an architecture. It's the kind of discovery that changes everything we thought we knew about the rocks drifting through the void. But here's the part that really messes with my head. If this isn't a miracle of physics, then we're looking at a deliberate signature. Welcome back to the darkness. This is the mystery of 3 Eye Atlas. For months, we've watched this object drift through our system, assuming it was just another silent traveler from the stars. But as it gets closer to us, the Larsen Sakonina filters have peeled back the layers of dust to reveal a core that defies conventional science. We are no longer just talking about ice and gas. We're talking about a structure that seems to be stabilizing itself with surgical precision. Is it a strange new class of comet? Or is the 0.2% probability telling us that we aren't alone in this silence? Today we investigate the impossible geometry of Atlas, the data that has astronomers divided, and what might happen when this visitor finally reaches the king of planets. When we look at the stars, we often forget that we are looking through a veil. Space is vast, but it's also crowded with dust, light pollution, and the limitations of our own technology. To see 3 i Atlas clearly, we needed something beyond the ordinary. Between November and December of last year, the Hubble Space Telescope was pointed toward a tiny point of light, moving against the backdrop of the deep void. It captured 17 images. At first, the raw data was underwhelming. If you saw the original files, you'd probably just see a blurry white smudge, the kind of thing you'd ignore if you weren't looking for it. That smudge is the coma, a massive cloud of gas and dust that surrounds the heart of 3 Eye Atlas as the sun begins to cook its frozen surface. But astronomers aren't satisfied with blurs, truth, hidden underneath. To find it, they used a specialized tool called the Larsen Sekanina Rotation Gradient Filter. Think of it like a digital sieve. It filters out the chaotic noise of the dust and highlights the structures that are actually moving or rotating with the object. When they applied this to the Hubble data, the smudge vanished, and what emerged was a pattern that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Instead of a messy explosion of gas, they saw three distinct needle-thin jets. And these jets weren't just random leaks. They were positioned with the kind of balance you'd expect from a manufactured drone or a deep space probe. I can't shake the feeling that we are looking at something that was built to stay stable, even in the middle of a chaotic drift through a foreign solar system. Let's talk about that 0.2%. In the world of science, we usually look for a sigma value a level of certainty that tells us we've found something real. But what happens when the math tells us that what we're seeing is almost impossible by accident? In nature, symmetry is a rare guest, usually reserved for the microscopic world or the biological one. You see it in the six-fold beauty of a snowflake or the radial petals of a flower. But on the scale of a mountain-sized rock hurtling through the vacuum of the void, it's almost unheard of. The three jets detected on 3 I Atlas are separated by approximately 120 degrees. If you've ever looked at a blueprint for a satellite or a mechanical stabilization engine, you know that this is the golden ratio for balance. It creates a perfect equilateral triangle of force. If you wanted to keep a rotating object from wobbling as it drifts through the darkness, this is exactly where you would place your thrusters. Now, the official word from some researchers is that we should be careful. They suggest that 3 I Atlas might be a contact binary, a cosmic accident where two or three separate rocks crashed into each other eons ago at very low speeds and got stuck together. It's a common thing in our own solar system. 
They argue that if the soft spots, or vents for gas, happen to be located in just the right places on these joined segments, you could, in theory, get a pattern that looks organized. But then you have to face the cold, hard numbers for three independent vents to be placed so perfectly at identical latitudes and separated by almost exact longitudes while activating with the same intensity. Well, that's where the 0.2% comes from. That is one in 500. To put that in perspective, imagine walking into a dark room and throwing three darts at a wall and having them land in a perfect, balanced triangle. Not just once, but every time the object rotates. Avi Loeb, the Harvard astronomer who has spent years staring into the silence for signs of life, isn't ready to call it a coincidence. He is pointing to this symmetry as a potential technological signature. He isn't saying it's a spaceship yet, but he is asking the question that makes the rest of the scientific community uncomfortable. Why is it so balanced? If it's just a rock, it is quite literally one of the luckiest, most mathematically gifted rocks in the history of the universe. Some astronomers push back, arguing that the rotation of the object itself might be forcing the gas through specific channels, creating an illusion of order out of the chaos. They say nature is weirder than we think, and they're right. But the part that keeps me up at night is the idea of efficiency. In engineering, symmetry equals efficiency. In nature, it's usually a fluke. What gets me is the silence that follows these discoveries. We have a visitor that doesn't tumble, that emits jets in a perfect geometric pattern, and that seems to be responding to the sun's heat with a precision that defies the messy physics of ice. I don't know if Loeb's hypothesis is the final answer, but it's becoming harder to ignore the feeling that 3i Atlas is more than just a piece of interstellar debris. If it's not a miracle of natural geometry, then the 0.2% probability is a signpost, a signature left in the void by someone or something that understands the math of the stars much better than we do. The more we process the Hubble data, the more 3i Atlas feels less like a discovery and more like an encounter. The clock is ticking, and 3i Atlas is not slowing down. We are currently heading toward a massive milestone in this journey, a moment that will either confirm our wildest theories or shatter them completely. On March 16, 2026, this interstellar anomaly will make its closest approach to Jupiter. This isn't just a routine flyby, it's a trial by fire. Jupiter is the massive guard dog of our solar system, a gravitational titan that doesn't take kindly to intruders. Its gravity is so intense that it can tear comets apart or sling them out into the dark void forever. This encounter will give us the answers we've been craving. NASA is already preparing the Juno probe, which has been orbiting the gas giant for years, to turn its sensors toward 3i Atlas. This will be the most intimate look we've ever had at an interstellar traveler while it's still active and reacting to our sun. What gets me is the scale of it all. We have the Antikata, a massive chaotic tail of dust stretching 100,000 kilometers back toward the sun. And then we have these tiny, precise jets only 24,000 kilometers from the core. It's a study in contrasts that doesn't quite add up. On one hand, you have the massive, messy tail of a typical comet. But on the other, you have the surgical precision of a machine. Some astronomers wonder if Atlas is shedding its outer layers as it approaches Jupiter, revealing a core that was never meant to be seen. One hypothesis is that the object is a contact binary, but as we've discussed, a contact binary doesn't explain how those jets stay so perfectly balanced under extreme stress. Think about what Jupiter does to visitors. We've seen it before most famously with Shoemaker Levy 9, which was ripped into 21 separate pieces by the sheer force of Jupiter's gravity well. If 3i Atlas is just a loose collection of ice and dust, March 16th might be the day it breaks apart. But if it maintains its structure, 
If those three symmetrical jets continue to fire with that same 120-degree precision, even as the planet tries to tear it limb from limb, then we are looking at something far more complex than a rock. We might be looking at a deliberate act of navigation. We will see non-gravitational acceleration, just like we did with Oumuamua. If 3i Atlas makes a course correction as it passes the King of Planets, it won't just be a mystery anymore, it will be a message. I can't shake the feeling that Jupiter is about to act as the ultimate witness to something we aren't prepared to understand. We are watching a visitor drift through a gateway, and what happens next could redefine our place in the silence of the cosmos. I sometimes think we underestimate how quiet the universe can be. We spend our lives surrounded by noise, but out there, in the void, the only thing that matters is the math. 3 i Atlas is a puzzle written in the language of geometry and probability. Whether it's a 1 in 500 fluke of nature or a sentinel from a civilization we will never meet, it reminds us that we are small and our understanding of the darkness is still so fragile. We will be waiting for the data from the Juno mission in March hoping that the silence finally gives us an answer. If you found this exploration into the 0.2% fascinating, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like. It really helps us continue these deep dives into the unknown. If you feel like supporting our work even further, you're always welcome to become a member of the Cosmic Unknown family. The stars are waiting and so are we. Stay curious, stay reflective, and as always, keep looking at the stars.